Soil mixing, what we do is um, we actually take the soil that is uh, in situ and we improve it by mixing it with uh, a mixture of cement and water. And, and the mixing procedure can be done in the wet, so you actually have cement and water as a mixture, as a wet mixture, or you can actually mix it with dry cement and then introduce the water. And um, so one of the things that that causes is, depending on the proportion of the admixture that you introduce in the soil, and obviously the time it takes for it to settle, um, you can actually have a particular characteristic, um, either strength or stiffness for that uh, material. And um, we are not, for example, taking so much spoils out of the site. So this is a case in which we are mixing existing soil with an anac mixture. There is a little bit of uh, spoil creation, but that, that spoils that it has to be transported off site, um, it tends to be minimal. The technology has advanced to the point where we have, for example, um, mixing that is shallow mixing with large orders, um, large orders up to, let's say, five meters in diameter in Japan. But that typically tends to be very shallow mixing, a shallow improvement. Deep soil mixing, on the other hand, tends to be smaller orders. And, and this, this sort of like a screw type uh, um, devices where you insert it in the ground and so you insert and you start mixing and you can actually have a multiple uh, set of augers three five and what you can do is you can create panels and now that you can create panels you can create cells and that's i think is what the, the technology has been advancing is not full replacement but partial replacement and uh, part of our work is essentially to provide solutions in which we have optimal replacement. So you don't have to replace the entire soil, you only replace a portion of the soil.